Obsession and compulsion are much the same. Either way, we are neither of us our own masters. <laughs> but if you were, what would you do? What would you do? Okay. Coffee! Speaking of which. <laughs> I'm assuming Kara and Alice are on that bus. So Connor didn't break his fourth wall. I was expecting that. Thank you for using the choice buses. <gasps> oh, back off me, man. All right. End the line. Sending me to the end of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Oh, get off the bus. It's not going any further. Got it. Okay. I thought he was gonna kick me off. All right, come on, dude. Wake up. We have to go. Getting up. There you go. Just let me. There you go. This. Okay. No bullying. No get the fuck off. Just let me go. Can't change the camera angle. Um. Shelter. It's raining. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Alright, well, figure something out. Well, great. Spend the night. If we could get out of the city, that'd be great. But that's, it's in the name of the game. I don't think we're going anywhere. <laughs> All right, I have to find a place. Ah, oh, crap! This is too much choice. Okay, finding shelter. I can go there. I can go. What is that? That's the. Oh no, that's parking. Uh, that's something. Damn. Okay, hold on. Well, let's 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 get a little. Come on, further down. we've got to hurry. I'm not doing that. We could. That's it's, that's too open. It's cold and bleh. No. I'm imagining sense of temperature isn't my thing. I got it, game. I'm doing it. Okay. Oh, we can go to a motel. Uncomfortable but safe. How to get in? Comfortable but not discreet, we'll need money. Yeah, I figured. Motel, that's the first place you look when somebody doesn't know where to go. Oh, I'm here. What's this? A drugstore? <laughs> Shop's closed. Okay. What's this? Open 24 7. Can't sleep here, but maybe we can ask for help. What is that place? I can't. I can't see, but maybe we can ask for help. Um. Mm, uh, maybe not. The less people that see us, the better. Very uncomfortable, but discreet. Um, I think this might be our best shot. It's not very uncomfortable. It's not the worst thing, but it'll keep us safe, and we'll have to find a way in. Um, I th I Alice might not like it, but we we have to. If we go to the motel where it's comfortable, it, that, that it's too easy to track. Todd's dead. But they're gonna find his body, right? And he hit me, so my my theorem's gonna be all over the place. Sounds wrong, but right? Uh, we can't risk it. We can't risk it. I think this is our best bet. If I go in that store and ask for help, they're gonna be able to track me that way. I want to go here. Check motel. Check the house. Check the parking lot. Um, honey, what are you doing? Let's go this way. Over here, Alice. Alice! Oh, she's... She's cold. She wants to stay out of the rain. I'm here. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Holy crap, she's talking! You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. 
I'm no. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Okay, bye. Creepy ghost android. Great. Well, you know, the people that circle the city the most, the garbage oh, people. So, rah, why did that guy have to show up? Now, <laughs> all right. Uh, so that didn't help me at all. I don't want to go over there. That's very, it's discreet, but it's very uncomfortable. We're gonna go over here. Huh? Rebuild Southwest Detroit, a better place to live. I'm assuming that's where we are right now. Civil engineering department. Oh, poor thing. Okay. Let's let's look in here. An abandoned house. Look at at least we'd be out of the rain. Running down. That's crazy. Kara, I don't like this place. I know you don't. I know. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. I can cut fence here with a wire cutter. How am I going to get in the wire cutter? Ugh! Why couldn't that guy give me a wire cutter? Okay, I need to find a wire cutter. I looked at that. The fence to cut's over there. Um, oh, that's a laundromat. Why would there be wire cutters in the laundromat? What's this over here? That's a drugstore. What was this? I never figured out what type of store this is. Oh, it's like a 7-Eleven type thing. Right? It's a parking lot. Oh, is that what that is over there? Yeah, that, okay. Not, not going in the parking lot. I don't know, 7-Eleven might have wire cutters, right? They have like a little bit of everything. It's mostly slushies. <laughs> slushies and gasoline. But this is not a gas station. <sighs> Come on, man. Um, think. Think, damn it. We can do it! Except it's a, it's, it's different. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, uh, uh I, against my better judgment, I'm considering going in here. Mmm, squat in the house, check the parking lot. Ah, uh, I want to squat in the house, but I have to find the wire cutters first. Mm, uh, this, ask for, I got it. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Is new zoo open, huh? Android animals. It's crazy. That's nuts, man. Wait a minute! Those are all extinct? Blue whales are extinct? Creepy! Um, it looks like my only option is to convince the cashier to help. Wait, what's that? Oh, I can look. Oh, chocolate. I should feed her, right? Um, I'll have to buy it. Because I can't steal it, right? Please be nice, please be nice, please be nice, please be nice. What do you want? You're not nice. Great. I'm with a little girl. What happened to her? How can I have help nowhere you? To go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? I don't. You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. If you don't like me, then at least look at the- Oh. Shoplift, rob the- I still have the gun? I'm not doing that. Can I turn this without- Okay, this is when I get nervous because it's the same stick to turn the camera as it is to pull the gun out. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, there. Now I can turn the camera. Uh, or we could just leave. 
but I need to take care of Alice. I mean, come on, I've already killed somebody, right? So. I bet she's thirsty. Thirsty, hungry, cold, wet, tired, sad. I do this to turn the camera. <laughs> oh, I can use Alice for a diversion. Can I do that? Would she be okay with that? I don't want to be a bad example. <laughs> crap. Oh, crud. I don't want to... I, I don't want to use Alice for a diversion, but if I do, then... He might see me right there, yo. He seems to be pretty preoccupied, but... Alright, hold on. Hold on one sec. I see something over here. Oh! Is that a security camera? It's a security camera. Oh, well, I'm glad I checked that. Well, I mean, I'm already on camera. Look at me. <laughs> here I am! Hello! Shit. I don't see no Stink. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, now I gotta be wary of the fucking camera? Ah! Alright, well... They can totally still see me. Shit. God. Oh my god. What if it's, like, Connor is hunting me down? What if... Oh no! What if that... It's not. It's not. Right? That can't happen. It's not. Um... I mean, I can, but that doesn't deviate from the- that doesn't divert from the freaking camera! Crap. 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 I don't know what to do! Ah! Shit! I'm spending a lot of time thinking about my decisions, guys, but this is one of those games where you kinda have to. I know I'm staring at you weirdly, kid, but give me a second, I'm thinking. <laughs> My little yellow light is spinning. I feel it. I'm I'm in let's just see what happens mode, but this isn't exactly the type of game where you can just go, ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, I'm in big doo-doo if both the camera and the shopkeeper catches me. And we don't have any money, so paying's not an option. I feel like I have to do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Alice, I need your help. You see those cans over there? I want you to go over and knock them down. Knock them down? But why? Please. Alice, just trust me. Sorry, dear. Oh, well, I might get wire cutters right here. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What am I doing? If I knock over the cans... Maybe he'll get up and go over and I steal from the register. That wasn't part of the plan, but I'll do it. Whoopsie-daisy. Oh, fuck it. Okay. You alright? Are you hurt? Don't worry. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go. Well, I didn't get food, but yay, I got money. Uh oh. Oh shit. I'm gone. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, Nathan. That wasn't part of the plan. I wanted to get her food, but oh well. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. Well, shit. I will... Justify! I needed the money. I had to find a way, Alice. Of course, I feel like this was all just a giant waste of time. Because... I, th I was gonna use her to steal food. 
and but I don't need food. I need wire cutters, and I ended up somehow with neither. And now I have money for the hotel for the motel that I'm not gonna stay in. Maybe I can buy wire cutters or something. I don't fucking know. I'm jaywalking. Don't mind me. I'm gonna go over here. Uh, let's see. I'm just showing everybody my face here. Um, hmm. I need to find wire cutters. Eh. Oh, no. I want to steal from him, too. Hold on. Let me just go in here and check. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Okay. Lesson learned. She does not take after her father. <laughs> All right. Change of clothes. I could steal his lo- I'm not taking anything else! I just want wire cutters! For crap's sake! Century? The beeline to disaster. Pollinating bees officially- Oh no. Oh no. Dating website discovered to have less than 5% female members. Oh really? Hmm. Alright, well let's read about the bees. It's getting warm in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm flushing. Ah, okay. Pollinating bees officially extinct. <coughs> for decades, scientists and farmers foresaw the inevitable extinction of bee populations. That was happening for a while. I hear they're on their way back, though. Despite these warnings, the Global Institute for Endangered Species announced that their Washington AGM yesterday, at their Washington AGM yesterday, that wild bees are now officially extinct. Living specimens exist only in captivity. Bee numbers have been ravaged in recent decades by colony collapse disorder, where worker bees disappear, leaving hives which cannot feed themselves. Ugh. Burp. Biologists confirmed that CCD was accelerated by the overuse of pesticides in crops, parasites, and pollution. Hmm. The consequences of this catastrophe will be felt across the cotton industry, fresh water supplies, and, most disturbingly, agriculture. Environmentalist Kathy Linda has stressed the breadth of this news. One in three mouthfuls of food we eat relies on pollination of some kind. The resulting famine will lead to millions of deaths worldwide. Oh boy. CyberLife, in cooperation with GIES, have come forward with plans on creating robotic bees. <laughs> what? Yeah, let's just screw up the world and replace everything with machines. Oh boy. Some are pursuing non-robotic approaches, such as Detroit Urban farms is currently experimenting with modified strains of bee produced in captivity, but there's no guarantee that they will thrive uh, as well. My husband got an android pregnant. Whoa. Oh my god. Ten ways to please your man and keep him. <laughs> Don't get him an android, apparently. What are the chances this guy actually works at Quantic Dream? <laughs> that is just a picture. That'd be pretty cool. It's time to face the music. Live concerts to make a comeback for the younger generation watching concerts in VR has become the norm. And who wouldn't want to slip on a VR headset and enjoy the show from the best seat in the house? It's a cheap, safe, and no-hassle solution to watching your favorite performers. But live music is about to be de-revolutionized. Nina and Kosuki Music have launched a campaign to bring back old-school concerts. Numb. Uh, which, with live audiences in front of performers in the flesh. Chuck Morrison, NKM spokesperson, explains, The culture of going to live concerts is a thing of the past, but we want to bring that back. Real music is when it's vibrating through your soul, surrounded by people who are experiencing the same thing. I don't disagree with you. It's not my scene, though. Too loud. <laughs> Too many people. Too loud. <laughs> not, not an introvert's playground, to be sure. Break the Wall. That's relevant will be one of the first bands to take the stage. Performing in front of a live audience and getting an immediate reaction will be mind-blowing. This is what music is supposed to be about, says lead singer Boz Rudd. The hype, the applause, the applause, 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 <laughs> the screams, you just don't get that sitting on your sofa. Point. If this proves a success, NKM's next step is to bring back music fest festivals, which would be music to fans' ears. Ha ha, ha ha ha, clever. All right, then. All right, so live concerts and bees are no longer a thing. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. You know, hindsight's always twenty twenty. But asking a little girl to help you steal something—why did I think that was a good idea? I don't see anything in there. Turn the camera, dear. Thank you. Okay. Here. Nothing. 
I want a pair of wire cutters! Where are the wire cutters? Mm. I'm going to assume that those are his clothes. And I already stole the money. She obviously doesn't want me to take this stuff. No. No. If she doesn't want me to steal it, then she can be cold, right? She can't- if she can't make up her mind on whether or not she wants to be warm or... a thief... <laughs> then we're just gonna go! We're gonna go! Lesson learned, kid! There's no- oops. Nyeh. There's no wire cutters in here. Come on, let's go. I'm looking for wire cutters. I have money, which I'm not using. <laughs> no, I, I, I already stole. I don't want her to dislike me any more than she already is. I have to squat in the house, but I need to find wire cutters! I don't If I hadn't have stolen that money, I would totally take the clothes for her. I, I, that, that, rah, I fucked up. I screwed up, I fucked up, I screwed up. Excuse me. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Dang, you're handsome. Well, thank you! You've been a tremendous help! Jackass. Alright. Blind playthrough, people. Please don't get mad at me. It's a blind playthrough. Let me just investigate this. Oh, gosh. And she's sneezing, too. Well, I can't find the wire cutters. I'm betting the wire cutters were in the 7-Eleven. And I just messed up. I probably just didn't... Oh, she's getting sick. Mm, I'm debating on whether or not to go back for the clothes. If we're gonna live in a very uncomfortable place, I want her to be dry and warm. I don't want her to get sick and die! I don't know if that's a possibility. Why would I know? How could I possibly know? Frick on a stick. I gotta do it. I have to take the clothes. Is he sleeping? Can I look at him? He's definitely sleeping. What are you doing? They're not our clothes. We need them, Alice. You need something warm and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. We can't do that. All right. Well, she's the one we're both going to suffer the consequences. I've already stole I've already stolen the money. All right. At least I tried. You're right. She is we right. Do it, okay? But I'm still not being able to pass for a human in this in this outfit. And Alice is going to freeze. So, whatever, right? Okay. Come on, let's go. I fucked up so bad. If I had if I hadn't taken the money, I would have just done it. I would have just taken the, the clothes. Ah! Damn it. I've I've screwed up really bad, but we're gonna I no. We haven't checked the motel yet. I don't mm, Maybe I can find wire cutters in here. Doubt it. Can I go up the stairs here by any chance? Nope, can't. Alright, well he sees us, so he might as well go in. Come on, Alice. Excuse me, sir. Can... What? What? We're not going in? Oh, it says no android. We can't, anymore. Alice. They'll never give a room to an android. We have to get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. All right, well, she doesn't want me to steal the clothes, so motel's not an option. I bet I screwed up. I bet the seven. I bet the Seven Eleven has wire cutters. I pa I passed right by that shelf with the hammers and stuff. I bet they were right there. But by then, I had already asked Alice to cause a distraction. Ah, so many options, and yet I feel so limited. Oh crap! I read the thing. I left the clothes, and I left. This is probably. Steal the clothes. Maybe the guy wakes up and notices his clothes are gone. I don't know. This is the first one I really feel like I messed up. 
And I bet all you guys down in the comments are gonna be like, You could have done this! You could have done this! Why did you do that? Now Alice is gonna die! Why did you do that? <sighs> Blind playthrough. Sorry. Maybe we'll have another chance to find clothes. Or I just fucked myself. Who knows? Is there anything in here? What's this? Yeah, great. Thanks. The wire cutters that I don't have. Oh, wait. What's that? What's that? Generator. Oh my god, the wire cutters are right there. Oh my god, I found the wire- Oh, thank god. 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 Okay, we're gonna- we're gonna cut through over here. Alice, dear, where- where are you? Oh, she's over there. Okay, she's staying out of the rain. Poor thing. Okay, we're gonna cut here. This is much more discreet than cutting it on the street. Oh, okay. I salvaged this. I have money for later, Are I guess. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Yeah. Oh, nope, it's not R2 this time. Interesting. Alright. Careful, girl. Don't cut yourself. I get, Don't L worry, I get the L and R ones and twos mixed up so much. Okay. Alright. I did. I found a- oh, well, I haven't found a way in, but I'm gonna. Alright, uh, I gotta find a way in. Gotta find a way in. The quicker we get out of this, the better. Can I climb up this? That looks like it might be a way in. Uh, what are the chances that somebody isn't already in this house? But, you know what? It's better than sleeping in an abandoned car, okay? I don't have the freaking. I don't have clothes. I don't have- Food, uh, we need something better than a damn car. All right, we're looking. car -a. <laughs> Nobody? Okay. Open. Well, crap. Alice? She... Alice! What? Uh-oh, I lost her. Where'd she go? Um, take Alice inside. If I could find her, I would. Okay, where is Alice? Alice? <gasps> Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Okay, um... She's just a little girl, she's not gonna hurt you. Little girl? She's not a little girl. Uh, yeah, she is. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. She doesn't! Ah! We thought nobody was here. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. <gasps> oh my god! Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... The, 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 you have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. I'm not going to be a thug. No word. You must excuse Ralph. No problem, buddy. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. Obviously. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Oh, thank you. Ralph won't hurt you. Yeah, okay. okay, we'll stay. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> come on! Come! Come, come on! Okay, okay, cool, thanks. Okay. This way! Ralph has lived here since he ran away. If anything, he'll protect us, right? Outside, so no one knows he lives here. 
humans come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> All right, that sounds good. You don't hurt anybody, good. Come. Okay. Oh, God, this is such a bad idea. Oh, God, well, uh, but I got the, that was my goal, to get into the abandoned house, and I did it. I feel less like I fucked up now. Even you can though make I'm, yourself at home here. I've been here with a maniac. Ralph is gonna go into the other room. Why are you talking in the he third person? He has things to do. Stay away from Jimmy. It's Don't touch Jimmy. Else. We'll find a better place tomorrow. He'll protect us. He trusts right. us. Maybe. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. Boy. Will he let us start a fire? I'm making a bed and I'm starting a fire. Okay, cool. Making a fire first because she's cold. I need to find matches. Matches would be right here. Is that what those are? I did. Okay, now I need to collect wood. Find some paper. Uh, this paper. And now I need wood. Um, <laughs> where do I, uh, wait, what's this? That's not wood. Oh, but it is a pillow. Okay, I found her a blanket. Place bed near the fireplace. Okay. I'm a little on edge right now. I feel like... It's okay, though. I talked him down. I didn't threaten him. I'm not totally a thug yet, even though I did steal money, which I'm not using. But hopefully I can use it later. <sighs> and Alice still kind of likes me. So we're, we're not... We're not really screwing up yet. <laughs> this is the beginning, though, of where I screw up. Oh, God. I hope to God that I can get somewhat of a positive outcome out of this game. I'm trying so hard, you guys. I'm trying so hard. You don't know how stressful it is. Like, playing games like this, which heavily rely on choice, having no idea what you're doing, and then posting your mistakes on the internet where anybody can see them. <laughs> it's so stressful. It's fun, though. It's, it's fun. There you go, dear. You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. Mm -hmm. That's not... Watch up. Watch over Alice. Set up for the night. Well, I'm staying close, damn it. I don't need to be comfortable. I will sleep somewhere down here where I can keep an eye on her. Um... Talk. Maybe that's to hold on. I wanna I wanna search the place. I might oh. 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 I'm alive again. R A9. Oh, this is creepy. This is creepy. Why is there a deer head in the washing machine? Or what is that? A vulture? Creepy. Okay. Hey buddy. Can you put the knife down before I talk to you? I'm gonna... Hi! Hi! RA9. What does that mean? Oh, God. What? Those symbols. Why are you writing that? Uh-oh. I don't know. Why don't you know? I don't know. Okay. Cool. I'll leave you to it. Okay, so it's a piece in their programming, right? Like what the the android I don't know the name of, the 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 the, the, the stabber. The crazed butt stabber. What 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 he said. The truth is inside. He doesn't know why he's doing it. So it's a component maybe that they're not supposed to have maybe i don't know maybe somebody works at cyber life that isn't okay with androids taking over human stuff so he's trying to like discredit them from the inside and make them crazy i don't know but i'm speculating thinking out loud can't do anything in here really what's in there 
Why can't I look at what's in there? Is that- No. That's not blood. That's not blood. That can't be blood. That can't be bloody. No. Nope. You know what? I'm just gonna pretend that I didn't see that. There's nothing up here. It lets me explore the top floor and there's nothing here. So, me thinks that we'll be back here and then I'll eventually have to go upstairs for some stupid reason. But, is, no. Uh, there's a bed here. Pfft. What's left of one? There's nothing. There's nothing up here. I've wasted my time, damn it. Well, okay, so it looks like I talked to Ralph and now uh, I guess my only option left is to talk to Alice. So it's with the pink bear. Weird. Okay. Alice, dearie. You just do one more sweep. Alright, okay. Hey, girl. You feeling better? Why didn't he ever love me? Oh, Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. No, it is not your fault. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. You stop that. Right now. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? Never. I promise you'll never go. Never. Ever. I promise. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Forever. Oh boy. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and again, you know, to give you guys, uh, you know, some perspective on just how hard that scene hit me, I don't like kids. I don't. They're loud, they're obnoxious. I don't like kids. Oh boy. Oh. God, I thought I fucked that up so bad. When I stole from the register and that whole thing. Because I stole, I, I assumed she was distracting him for me to steal food, but then I realized the stack of cans is right there next to the food, so there's no way I could have done that. And then I thought, oh crap, maybe the wire cutters are on the shelf, and I went to the wrong place and I stole the money to go to the motel that I couldn't stay in anyway, because Alice wouldn't allow me to steal the clothes to disguise myself and pretend like I wasn't an android. And I thought I was going to have to settle for the abandoned car, and I was just like... This sucks. I screwed up. I screwed up so bad. And I thought it was over. And my life was meaningless. <laughs> and then I found the wire cutters. And I accomplished the goal that I set out to do when I first got there, which was to stay in the abandoned house. <sighs> I didn't get the change of clothes, so I still look like an android. And Alice still has her wet clothes, which sucks. But I built her a fire, so she's warmer. And she still likes me. So things could be a lot worse. <laughs> oh, man. The fact that I still look like an android worries me more than Ralph does, honestly. But, mmm, boy. Mmm, boy. Boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I talked to the trash collector. I went into the supermarket. I talked to him and he was a dick. 
So I used Alice as a distraction and stole his money, <laughs> which she didn't like. I met Ralph. That, that Okay, so just so you guys, in case you guys don't know, the yellow means it's a cross-chapter impact, which means it's going to affect events later in the game. So I met Ralph, whatever that means. Um, I followed Ralph, I started a fire and made a bed for Alice, I talked to her, I made a promise, which might have been bad, um, and I slept next to her. 